Hi there everyone and welcome back to another episode. Uh, right, so I think we just found another anomaly, so let's take a look at... Uh, I always forget whether this is breakthrough or research. No, it must be breakthrough because the research looks different. So let's scan this one over here. Um, now the next thing, I'm not entirely sure. Should we get the second one up and running as well? Or not? It's gonna take more power. Which we have, but we can't. Yeah, maybe we should get it up and running so just so we can send the fuel um send the fuel to the rockets and get them running a little bit faster as well. Um just a second, let's check the map over here. Right, so these are all done. Let's have a look over here. Sector scanned. Here. We'll do with these ones. Oh, we found some polymers. Nice. No, wrong button. Don't do that. Anomaly analyzed. Bring everything. Bring it here. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Right, so we got uh, more decks are available to us now. Advanced Martian in engines. Is that the one that reduces the fuel uh, requirements? And extractor amplification. Uh, right, so this gives us 25% boost for a 10 power. Now this one, rocks, rockets and shuttles require less fuel. Yes, that will go... Oh, it's too late for this rocket. I think. So we will squeeze it in after crowdfunding. I'm thinking. Alright. Seems this one's about to kick off. I uh, hope we can get those polymers. Explorer, you can come back now. You're no longer needed over there. Right, so coming back to the water. Uh, dilemma we had here. Maintenance is machine parts. Now, this requires machine parts. So does this one. Hmm. Tough call. Constant power though. I think we Sector scanned. Oh wait, we have another sterling over here. Right, so problem solved. Uh, let's Oh one second, where is it? Moisture vaporator. Let's try and plan out. So this one This one's gonna have to go here. Which means, <laughs> where is it? The Sterling can go here, and the fuel fuel production we can. Wait, did we not get two? Oh, we only got one. Right, so two water. I thought I took two. Well, maybe we didn't. Um, you know what? Let's build it. We have the power. Yeah, let's build it. We'll connect it up so in case the um, cold waves come, we'll have a bit of a stock built up as well. And it needs power. Which means we will place you... Let's put you somewhere here. There we go. And we'll connect it up. Perfect, so now we can start building up some extra... Extra water in the bank. Oh, they can reach this one there, that's nice. Got quite a bit of metals now. The only thing I'll be worried about is going to be these things. Anomaly found. Electronics I'm not so worried, because we don't really need them for... Any maintenance, as of yet. 
machine parts, yeah, we'll definitely need, need more of those. Um, how's our power doing? So we're producing an extra 10 right now. So that's good. I think at some point we are going to need a power accumulator as well. That uses polymers for maintenance. Is it wise to build one now? How much power can we store in here? It doesn't even tell. I think it was about... Is it about 100 as well or is it more? Hmm, not sure. Anyways, we found an anomaly, which is here. Perfect. What are we researching right now? Probably want to boost this one here. Uh, but that's okay. Let's grab this one. And then we can queue the um, advanced engines as well. Yeah, let's put an accumulator here. We'll never know when the um, cold wave is going to come, so let's place one there. So that sector was scanned. Let's see if we can queue up another one. Uh, these are right on the edge, but they might still have um, something in Sector them. scanned. Okay, I think I'll come back to them later. Let's scan these ones first. The full sectors there. Oof. Let's make sure we don't have anyone close to these guys. Seems they're going this way, so we Research should be complete. Anomaly analyzed. Should be safe over here. Uh, we'll bring you back to base just in case. So research done. Uh, wonderful. So we get some more money, and we wanted to swap surface heating. So this will be another very important um, research we'll have to do. But I think we'll queue this one. Wait, this. Let's do it this way. Yeah. Perfect. And we have another one here in the social tab. Since we're not getting colonists, so. Um, yeah, we're not going to go down the social um, tree. Not yet, at least. Going to focus on the physics. We got two queued up over here. And. Um, I think in this one I would like to start terraforming a little bit earlier. But we're gonna wait for a few breakthroughs first to see what we get. Maybe we can make it a little bit easier. Biotech, um, I think that's gonna be secondary for the time being. Although I do think that this is where the moisture vaporators are, so we might have to focus this on this a little bit later. Right, so how far are we with the rockets? We got 50 fuel here. Now, if we had the um, research done, we would have already been able to fly back. Um, but we don't have it yet. It is a uh, next one. Uh, well, the current one we are researching right now. So what Sector we can scanned. do whilst we're waiting, we can... No, we cannot. Let's not go there. Do we have any resources over here? Yes, we do. Let's pick up these ones. And with shift right click, we can queue up these tasks over here as well. And then once it picks up one, Great dust storm approaching. we can have him unload it here. Dust storm. Right, so that's going to turn off our moisture vaporators over here. How much do we have in the bank? We got 28. Yeah, if I would have built this earlier, we would have had a lot more water in, in the storage over there. So, uh, the following buildings do not function during dust storms. The Moxies, uh, we don't have any. Moisture vaporators, we've got two. Solo, solo panels outside domes, we don't have any of those either. Um, 
yeah, I think we should be fine. Um, wait, but that also means... I cannot remember. Does it mean that the rocket cannot launch if there's a dust storm? I feel like that's the case, so that's gonna delay us. Even further. Hmm, okay, we'll see. Right, so the power accumulator was uh, finished, and it seems the capacity of, of one unit is about 200. Good, that's good to know. Ooh, these are getting close. I really need to keep an eye on my uh, rovers over here. Uh, they are not... Found. They don't really have a function where they would automatically try and avoid any of those disasters. Let's see, we found breakthrough... Oh wait, which one's a big... So this one was res... No, not research. That shows us some text. This is a breakthrough. Right. Let's try and see what happens. Let's queue them up. And then also add it in the queue that he's gonna come back over here. Cool. I think we need to queue up some more... A couple more of these as well. There we go. Got some resources over here. So yeah, I think for the first... Maybe like 50 souls, if not more. Um, we should be fine with with metals for sure. And same with concrete over here. And we got another high one right behind us. So that is actually looking very nice. How far are you? Almost halfway through. Uh, we'll keep an eye on these guys as well. All oh, right, so let's have a look over here again. So we've got one, two, three, three vistas over there, one down here, and two research points as well. So that is looking like a pretty amazing section for for our future domes. Anomaly analyzed. We do have the uh, underground rare metals over here. Unfortunately, it is a low grade, which means it takes it it takes um, quite a long time to get them out of the ground. Uh, some more metals. Uh, it's alright. Very low. Mm. Okay. So in case uh, in case you're not sure what the what the crate really means is, if you have a, a deposit with a very low, that means the um, production speed essentially is is lower. So for example, if you put an ex extractor over here. Uh, for example, it would give us, um, let's say, five, five metals per soul. Now, if this, if we built it over here, and this grade is average, which is, it goes from very low, low, average, right? So it's too higher than the very low. So from this, we would probably uh, make about, don't know the exact per percentage, but I think maybe about seven or, or more for it just an as an example uh, so that's essentially what it means how many you can get um, per day and uh, obviously the higher it is the more you can get per day uh, taking account obviously what the reserves in, in here are so the high ones are definitely better to focus and um, because that means uh, you'll deplete those resources quicker and which also means you will need to uh, maintain those buildings less if that makes sense hopefully right so anomaly and analyze new text right so this one gave text so this means this one's a breakthrough yes okay so i got it the wrong way around there's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye a veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge right and so we got to so long as you know where text over here low g fungi and dozer rover let's take a look so dozer rover gives us the ability to construct the uh, dozer and fungal farm is a food production farm right so we got the two food ones right at the start so that's not bad at all um yeah okay oh this is getting a little bit too close to us yeah, they shouldn't be going this way. Now, I'm excited about this breakthrough, though. So, again, 
I think I mentioned it in the when we were setting up the game, but I did a little bit of reading about the breakthroughs just to understand it because from what I understand, well, initially I noticed that um, breakthrough from a few discovered. videos that I've seen as well, it's uh, I wasn't getting the, the breakthroughs they were getting. So yeah, I looked it up. It seems like there's about 61 breakthroughs, I think, roughly about that. But in each game, you get about 19 as a base uh, base number. And then with the right uh, technology, such as the um, um, the telescope, I think it was, you can have few additional few additional um, breakthroughs. And then you also have a chance to get some planetary, um, what are they called? Like there's some planetary missions over here that might give you uh, additional breakthroughs. Now, if you select the um, your mission sponsor as the paradox one, then that increases the base uh, breakthroughs that you can find by um quite a few so the base will be uh, anything between 21 to 23 4 something like that and we are running the um, paradox interactive so so yeah uh, let's see we got uh i mean it is a great break breakthrough don't get me wrong uh it is very helpful although i was ex I was expecting i was hoping for um something else but it it seems we don't have any water in, in this area anyway so absolutely this is gonna be a wonderful Sector breakthrough scanned. once we get to the stage where we bring the um colonist colonist onto the onto mars as well so yeah it's it's a very good one uh, another sector done nothing over here hmm oh well uh, so you, can you pick up all these and bring them back? Did we find any more? No, we have not. You know what, just clear this corner over there and then we'll work our way through. I think the next thing we are going to start doing actually will be uh, to terraform a little bit. We need access. Um, to the lower level over here. So since our base is going to be mostly around this area, it is going to make sense to build a ramp from, let's see, uh, somewhere around, this is not flat. Okay, let's see if we build it, so that's the smallest. Let's pause this for a second. Let's bring it from here. Oof. Um, yeah. That, this looks much better. And 32, 15 is very good. 13, 10, 8, 6. Oh, wow. This is perfect. So let's bring the rover over here. And we will start on the um, construction, construction over there. Well, not really construction, it's more terraforming over here. Or landscaping, I should say. Yes, 0 0.9 is honestly not bad at all. I, I think that's the lowest I've probably seen. Because when I was doing my last play playthrough as well a few days ago, Anomaly um, found. Ooh, wow. Um, yeah, we got... Um, yeah, usually those ramps were like up to 100 or just short of uh, 100. So new anomalies. We got two over here. New technologies and research progress. I'd really like to get this up mm, quite a bit, actually. So let's see. Let's, let's get the progress. How far are you? You're full. Do you want to send you home? We do want to send you home and pick up some more. I think we need uh, another fuel refinery. 
And we are going to need some more machine parts as well, so... You cannot launch right now. So what we'll do is explore. You can go... Scan this one. Scan this one. And then... We'll bring you back. How far are you guys? 5% done. Super League's not working. Oh uh, yeah, that's because of the dust storm. And we found some more resources here as well. So this means we will send our transport rover here too. And bring them back home. Cool. Well, let's keep an eye on these guys. If we can, all of them. Now another thing with this playthrough that I, I don't really want to do is I'm not gonna at least well don't think I'm gonna skip anything so I'll show you the full process how we are trying to survive with the um, thousand forty five percent difficulty. Um, Anomaly analyzed. Some sections obviously are gonna be not as exciting of course, especially at the start since it's um, gonna take us some time to get going and get the research up and and and, and so on but uh, just to show the uh, full process and progress uh, will I'll not uh, I won't cut anything so um, right so we got a new uh, new text over here there's more Let's to take the a look. barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye a veritable right, so you got the explorer AI of... and planetary survey uh, where are they Nice. This is what we want to generate 100 research per soul for each RC Explorer uh, vehicle. Multiple vehicles result in collaboration losses. Oh, okay. Um, so that means if I ordered five Explorer rovers, we wouldn't get 100 from each. Is that what it means? I suppose. And planetary survey, we will discover six planetary anomalies. Right, so we will want to focus on this first. As soon as we... Yeah, this should be first. Because once we get the Explorer AI, that means we're going to get the Martian engines, well, twice as fast since we'll increase it to 200 per soul. So let's do that. Sounds like Sector it would be a scanned. lot smarter. Meteor shower uh, incoming. Oh, no. Hopefully they're not going to land on our colony. Um, let's hope we, we will get like 1,500 from here. That would be so nice. Because that means we'll we'll get the research done right away. Research complete. Anomaly yes. analyzed. Perfect. So that one's done. Um, I think we will want to open up the uh, anomalies because as soon as the rocket comes back then we'll be able to um, to some of these meteor storm uh, let's clear these out how far are you 17 percent right so that's when the um, disaster start building up now as well well, at least the dust storm should clear out before the meteor storm comes in. Resources are low. Oh, we found some anomalies already. Breakthrough with three. Oh, that's a very good one. Research progress, not a very good one. We don't have colonists, so that's useless. RC Explorer, new technologies. Uh, but we want to send this back home to bring us. Oh yeah, more resources. I think we just... No, we haven't run out of water. Still got 51 in the bank over here, so that's all good. And this is going rather slowly. Right, yeah, that's what we'll do. As soon as the dust storm clears out, we'll send this back to Earth. It's going to take us three... I think three souls to go there, pick up resources and another three souls to come back and then we can increase our fuel production. Sector scanned. Uh, nothing over there, low. Oh, okay, grants funding. So if we had 30 electronics, okay, so that's uh, another thing we'll 
have to pick up from home. Because that gives us 2 billion. Which will be very nice. We have 6 right now, so we need... We need to bring 25. Well, 24, but... You can't bring 24. So we'll have to bring 25 from home. And that means we get more money than we send back to break up. Well, that mean okay, so we'll have to do most likely two trips with the um, with the rocket, unless wait, let's see, mm, electronics. I could bring it in right now. Get the money. Yeah, we'll get the money, and then we can have two more billions. And then, let's see how much does this one cost? It is 200. Now, it is very important uh, to do all those purchases as early as we can, uh, because if you remember, one of the settings was inflation. So it is going to go up very quick, so... Alright, so what I think I'll do... Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a very reasonable idea. Let's... We're gonna spend, um, well, essentially waste 100 million. But that means we don't have to do two rocket trips. We are saving in total 12 days of travel. Yeah, let's bring, bring that. Um, and with this one, we're gonna send it on the... On the planetary anomaly instead and by the time this all gets done i am very much hoping we'll manage to complete the advanced martian engines right so more scanning let's put a couple more here how fast are we getting so sensor tower boost is 40 percent um Build some more sensor towers, I suppose. Got four. Let's see. We build. Yeah, let's do that. Are you guys almost done? What's the problem over here? Resources are low. Functioned. Oh no. Right, so let's transfer one of these guys over to here. Oh wait. Yeah, you have enough power. I wonder how the malfunctioned over here. Must have been like a... Actually, I, I don't really know. All right, we'll bring you down here. Can you repair these guys? No, please. Repair. Repair. There we go. And then repair this guy. Nice. And now we will send you back to here. All right, three hours remaining here. Well, two now. And in 18 hours, we will have another meteor storm. So, uh, let's scrap, salvage this um, shuttle, supply pods. Yeah, there we go, supply pods over there. And let's also build another, where is it? Another autonomous scanner, sensor tower, that's what it's called. Right, so where is our transporter? It's here. Let's pick up some electronics. One is enough, and I think it needed metals. Let's grab one. Ah, two. Is that what we needed? Yeah, that is what we needed. You drop them here. Here. 
And then you guys, 31%. As soon as you're done, we'll send them here. So that, I think, should give us another 10% boost. Ooh. Okay, we maybe wait, because we only have 31 of these left now. Yeah. Don't want to spend them accidentally. So, you know what, let's put another Universal Depot over here. And what will be very smart is to keep all this fuel separate. So let's ban fuel. And put it over there because in case there is an explosion, I think it takes Sector out all the resources. Scanned. Anomaly found. Nice. So let's scan this one here. Oh, those meteors are getting close. Oof. Spicy. Let's see, we are 34 percent. We may have to bail. Oh wait, it was just a random me uh, meteor. The storm starts in one hour. Oh, and you. We wanted to send you out on this mission over here. Send expedition. There we go. Unload the fuel and get the rest of the resources ready. Right, so this one has a lot of concrete over here. Average, high. That is very nice. Although it is on the cold surface over here. Um, you. Get these resources and these ones. And let's see if we have any more somewhere around here. No. There is some here. And then just unload it in this location. Alright, 42%. Where is the storm? Alright, so it's coming down in this area, it seems. Um, which means we will have to build a ramp coming up this way as well. Because meteorites tend to drop down resources, but also um, anomalies for research. So yeah, we'll probably, after we build this, let's build a ramp up there. And let's plan this out already. Now this looks like a perfect spot over here. And if we bring it... Yeah, that's gonna be a lot more. Um, 66. What else can we get from here? No, that's all expensive. Oh, 50. That's 47. Yeah, I think we'll go with 47 and we let's found check out the anomaly as well. Native life. Uh, signs of native life. Um, the sensor reading from the anomaly site provided the answer to one of the biggest mysteries about Mars. The explorer examined a mineral cl cluster and found the preserved remains of microscopic life forms. We managed to confirm that the deposit originated on Mars and not on one of the many asteroids that pockmark the surface of the planet. The team is ecstatic with the find. If there was past life on Mars, perhaps we are not alone in this universe. Now, two options. And that is a non-brainer. We are... We're going to take the money. Uh, because people will should not be an issue oh yeah let's unpause this as well uh are you coming back you are not coming back you should be coming back and yeah come back over here right 50 percent for the ramp that's going slower could use some more drones but they are oh wait we can't go and construct the ramp because as soon as this this guy leaves. We need the drone commander over here. Yeah, just realized. And he's coming really close as well. Mm. Nah, I think he's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna go away. Cool. All right. Where's our transport? It is here. 
Nice. Some more medals. Wonderful. And that is almost full as well. What else do we have here? Oh, wait. I totally forgot to place another storage. Uh, we'll want it out of the way. So let's place it over there. And can we send you out again? Yes, we can. And pick up all these ones. I think there were some more medals. Okay, we'll come back for that in a little bit. So once you're done, dump it over here. Alright, and 61% on this one. Uh, how far are we to launch this? Alright, still quite a few medals. Where are you going? Sector scan. Okay, electronics. Not the one scanned. Ooh, 91 resources over here. That is very nice. So he is unloading. No, oh, still collecting them. Alright, and let's add a few more in the queue. Let's do this one here first. How far are we with the research? We're halfway through. Yeah, it is definitely quite slow at the beginning. But at the same time, it would have been even slower if we picked the um, the other mission sponsor, which was the um, the Ark. No, the church. Yeah, that would have been zero. Although Russia would have, we would have started with 200 and we could have had 300 right now. But I think the extra breakthroughs are well worth the uh, um, well worth the um, this mission sponsor. Right, so he's done now, and do we dare to send him out? I think we do, since the meteors are not coming here. So let's, that any resources? No, it's only these ones here. Right, so let's task him. Can we get them all? Yes, we can. Pick up all these resources from there. And I'd like you to bring them back to base over here. I think we are going to need another metal steeple over here. And yes, I know. Ah, oh, it's full. And the concrete storage is full. Let's maybe... Oh, yeah, we don't have a... No, we do have. So, let's just put another one here. Let's make it a double. Here we go, we should have enough space now. Don't want to have any bottlenecks on um, on this extractor for the, for the time being. We want to mine it as fast as we can. I would like to get the amplification as well, but I think... Maybe we need to swap out. Where's the drone hub? Yeah. Cargo space, I don't think we need it that desperately, to be honest. Anomalies we do want, but we will want this one first, and then the anomalies. There we go, we are at 82% with this one. And the rocket is almost ready to launch as well. Right, so let's check this again. How? What is the boost we're getting now? Wait, it's still... Oh, you're right, it is still 40% because we have not built this one. And we are going to have exactly one electronic to spare ah uh, you're fully in nightmare okay 80 percent 87 percent done then we'll bring it back we'll bring some more drones to help out with this 
I just want to get this ramp done so in case we find any any stuff in there we can already send the explorer down there as well cool okay one more metal no 20 more metal Sector scan. Anomaly new anomaly found. yes let's uh, send you here scan it and once you're done to come back please and he's picking up all the medals over here as well, which is very nice. There's 16 here, 70, uh, 106, 2632, plus another 30, so 161, 2, something like that. So that is not bad at all. Might even need an extra storage for this. Yeah, this one's. Now we'll be fine. Uh, come on, 98%. Beautiful. As soon as this is done, we are going to get this rocket off the ground. And we're going to get some more money. And then we'll send the rocket back to Earth to bring us some prefabs. But also resources and stuff. Cool. Let's go home. Come over here and... Help these poor drones out over there as well. Nice, so this is going down. And now we have access to the to the lower part. We still need to build a ramp going up this way and then eventually up here as well. Breakthrough discovered. Mm, let's see. What is this one? Colonists need to sleep for only one hour and regain extra sanity when sleeping. So, uh, yeah, that is a very good breakthrough once we bring the colonist in. Um, although not really something I'm hoping for. Um, yeah, these seem to be quite heavily colonist oriented. What I'm hoping for is more factory and, and to auto... Um, Milestone yeah, more factor oriented. Cool, but with the rocket launch over here, I think it's time to call an episode. And thank you very much for joining, and we will see you again in the next one.